Hello dear friends. Welcome to another one of our videos. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss our upcoming videos. And if you've ever had an experience driving in winter or have any questions about it, make sure to share it in the comment section, we always read your thoughts and reply to them. Alright then, let's get into the video. Winter, a season of beauty and white wonder, hides behind its charm one of the most dangerous challenges for drivers. When the temperature drops below zero, roads become covered with a thin, transparent layer of ice known as black ice. This ice is almost invisible, and drivers often don't notice it until the very moment their car begins to slide. Unlike snow, which can be seen and avoided, black ice shows no visible signs, and that's exactly why it's the leading cause of hundreds of deadly winter accidents. But why does driving in winter become so dangerous? In cold weather, the friction between tires and the road surface drops dramatically. When the tires can't properly grip the road, even the slightest touch on the brake or accelerator can cause the car to slide. Moreover, extremely low temperatures can cause engine oils to thicken and brake or steering systems to respond more slowly. Visibility also decreases due to fog, snow, or frozen rain on the windshield. Under such conditions, even professional drivers can lose control of their vehicles. One of the most dangerous events in winter is the chain reaction crash. This type of accident usually happens when several vehicles are driving too close together at high speed. When one car slides on the ice and suddenly stops, the others don't have enough time to react, leading to a multi-car pileup. Such accidents are most common on highways and intercity roads, especially when drivers fail to reduce their speed despite fog or heavy snowfall. Камеру буду выключать. 
Всем удачи. You might be wondering, which Count Rise faced the harshest and most accident-prone winters. Statistics show that nations like Canada, Russia, Norway, the United States, Finland, and Sweden are among the most dangerous places for winter driving. In states such as Alaska or Montana, temperatures can drop to minus 30 degrees Celsius, and roads remain frozen for weeks. In Canada, more than 50,000 traffic accidents related to ice and snow are recorded every year. In Russia, drivers often use special tire chains to increase traction on icy roads. But in countries with weaker winter management systems, such as parts of Central Asia or Eastern Europe, the number of fatalities is much higher because the infrastructure isn't equipped to handle heavy snow and ice. Now, the big question is, what should governments do to prevent these accidents? The first and most important step is quick road clearing and the use of salt or de-icing chemicals. In developed countries, special trucks spread anti-ice materials before snowfall begins, preventing black ice from forming. The second step is winter driving education. Many drivers simply don't know how to handle icy conditions. For example, during a skid, you should not press the brake, instead, gently release the gas pedal and steer in the direction of the slide to regain control of the vehicle. The third step involves updating driving laws and vehicle equipment, for instance, winter tires and anti-lock braking systems ABS, should be mandatory. In addition, warning signs and smart road sensors that detect ice can help save thousands of lives each year. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and make sure to share in the comments. Have you ever experienced driving on an icy road? I'm looking forward to reading your thoughts.